What up everybody, it's the Tech Playoffs and I got another quick video for you. This is the iPhone 14 Pro and it's running uh, iOS 18. Let me see if it unlocked for me. iOS 18 Beta 1. So as you can see here, this is what it looks like when you install iOS 18 Beta. Um, right off the bat, it does not have these dark icons. If you go to Edit and Customize and then choose Light, this is how it comes right out the box. But if you can change it, if you want to, you can change it to light or dark. As you can see, this is part of the new iOS. You can even change the color if you want. Blue, green, well, that green kind of looks nice. You can also enlarge the uh, icons. As you can see, that does get rid of the uh, name, the labels under the icons, but it does look pretty nice. If you go to small, you do get the labels back, uh, but I do like it in dark. For my opinion, it looks pretty good. If you swipe down control center, this is the uh, couple of new features you can see here. It is redesigned. Um, this is very custom. So this you can change to whatever you want it to be on there. You can also get rid of the stock uh, preloaded setup they have here. If you swipe up, you have the music tile. You got the home kit where you can turn on your lights and smart devices. Swipe up one more time and you get your... Uh, just quick tiles to shut off Bluetooth, cellular, Wi-Fi, stuff like that, satellite, airplane mode. You can go back up and you get back to your controls. If you hit the plus icon on the top left, you can resize these. You can add additional if you hit add control. And then it'll give you additional options here. As you can see, you got pretty good amount of options here where you can add on there. So... Pretty good uh, versus the old setup. You couldn't really change anything here. You had to go into settings to change stuff. So I like the way this looks. You can long press it. It'll give you the options. Uh, let's see if I long press home. Look. So if, I, if you, same thing with music. If you long press it, you get the um, last music you listened to or most recent. You can turn on your lights on and off, volume, brightness, remote timer. So you can set this to whatever you want it to be. Um, there's uh, not too much visually, to be honest, yet. Um, this is the 14 Pro. So I know I heard the 14 Pro is not going to get the new Apple Intelligence, which is the new AI. Um, but I'm hoping it'll get some of that, at least some of the new Siri features. Uh, but we'll see. They said that's mainly for the 15 Pro. Uh, but as you can see right now, I'm running 14 Pro with no issues. It's very actually smooth. A lot of people are saying that it's buggy. I have not ran into any bugs, to be honest. So everything opens pretty smooth. Uh, with no issues. So you can see here, if I go to music, it wants me to tap up there to play on my Apple TV. Pretty nice. This is a Safari. Um, let's see if I go into Instagram. So it's pretty, it's pretty smooth, to be honest. I'm going to X also known as Twitter. Um, pretty smooth, the maps is pretty good too. Same as you can expect, expect 2D, 3D mode. Pretty decent. Um, like I said, uh, not all the features that they announced are out, or at least I didn't find all of them, uh, but I'm sure people are gonna find stuff I did not. But it's pretty good, pretty fast, honestly, pretty stable. My phone's not hot ever since I set it up. I've been using it. I have also charged it. Uh, I haven't felt any heat stuff that you would normally see on a beta one. That's not something that I ran into here. Uh, I'm going to music. It'll pop up your last song. So pretty smooth. Um, pretty surprised on the beta and how good it is. But no issue so far. A uh, pretty cool feature too. If you press on the volume rockers on here, you see a little animation pop up. So it has like a little like kind of like dynamic item that pops up. You see? Pretty nice. I saw someone posted this up and I didn't realize it until they did. Pretty cool. Um, but other than that, man, it's, it's pretty smooth. Um, I can't say not to try it because I've hadn't had any issues with it. Uh, I know other people have, but to me, it's smooth. I mean, I'm running it so far and I haven't ran into any major issues. Uh, it's going to sports. Everything opens up really good. Um, so... No issues to report, uh, but this is iOS 18 beta one. So you can see you do have some visual changes, but not all of them 
have at least arrived in my case, or at least, I, like I said, I haven't found them all. Um, but even if we go into settings, I don't see anything super crazy. Um, this is still your normal settings. These icons are still the same color. They're not darkened or anything like that. Maybe that might change um, in other betas, but pretty smooth. Like I said, look at these multitasking. No issues whatsoever at the moment. Um, so if you guys want to try it, you can try it for free. If you go into your settings and then go into software update, general uh, software update, and then you hit beta updates. When you click that, it's going to give you an option for iOS 18 developer beta. Uh, but I just noticed this looks a little bit different where it says about general, about software update, iPhone storage. See iPhone 14 Pro. So phone storage looks pretty similar. So that changed a little bit, this section here. But everything else looks pretty much the same. As you can see, my, while I go through the UI, it's pretty smooth. Um, no issues. The Siri is still the old Siri. If I hold down, there's nothing new. Let's see. What's the weather? So nothing drastically changed. I see that it shows a little notification card instead of going into the whole app. But, I mean, pretty good so far. Like I said, I haven't had any, ran any issues with it. This is the phone that I got off Amazon Renewed. It's been great so far. Um, no complaints. So if you guys have any questions about iOS 18 Beta 1, shoot a comment down below. If you guys want me to try something, and I'll try it. But other than that, like I said, it's been smooth. I've ran into no issues at the moment. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Have a good day. Peace.